Okay. We are about ready. Let's see. Fo uh, okay. Laptop's good. Gotta swap the screen over. I gotta get my phone. And I think the volume's off on my TV, so. Should be good there. And phone's good. Okay. Last time, uh, I finished the, what was it? The Paradox Titan Cup. And I got, let's just say, halfway through the Hades Cup. Still can't beat the later section. We've beaten Lingering Will with Peter Pan cheese. That's why we got a crown. We got two more of the Mushroom 13 to go. And I got very close to finishing up this one. So that's probably my priority. Is this one right here. Okay, obviously not my best time, which, as you can see, I got very close. Actually, I could probably stick around. Go in here, wait for my MP to come back. Probably do another set. Ah, uh, this ain't gonna go well. I can already see this ain't gonna go well. Yeah, that went way worse. Alright, I better go this way. Leave the world come back in. Yeah, I took Donald's uh, Shadow Archive Pluses and just stacked them on, on Sora because he needs as much magic as possible just to do this. So, Ultimate Weapon, the MP Haska, and 4 Magic. We're using Fatal Crest because it actually has the most magic to it. And yeah, I stacked Shadow Archive because it's 3 magic per accessory. And we can use the normal one because I don't care about the MP Rage. And it's the same stats. Okay. Back here. Again, I have to, like, jump and then reflect right when I'm about to land on the ground. Oh my god, that was a faster time. Oh my god, that was close. But like it it's not there. If I didn't if I did not get hit. If I did not get hit, I would have probably had that. Yeah, not fast enough. Leave the world come back. Well, how many drive recoveries do I have? I have maxed out drive recoveries. 
And I get like what? One per uh I get like one drive recovery per thing per attempt and it gives me like three. Yeah, we might just try it like this. Wait for my MP. Oh my god, I did it! Oh, that took for what? That took forever. Oh, that's done. That is done. Only took me a couple attempts. Like what, five in total? Oh, that's nice. All right. Uh, there's just one more left. One more mushroom. And I still need to probably swap this around. We need Fatal Crest for Berserk Charge. Uh, I can take this stuff off. It was Cosmic Arts than my Full Blooms. Then Donald can have his stuff back. I didn't do any grinding in between in between streams, but I could have made like Donald a couple shock charms. But that's like the only thing I would have made. Okay. Uh I wanna test out. It didn't really seem like it would have kept him in the air. Unless I just timed it wrong. I know Comet works to keep him in the air. But that's the only purpose of it. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, it's not the best to keep him in the air. Because of how long it takes. So, if I want to use a limit to keep him in the air, it's going to be Comet. Or Fantasia. Whatever. Okay. Oh, man. I probably could have used Comet there. I could have used Comet to keep him in the air. You know, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, I thought I saw something about Master Form. Okay. It didn't seem that bad, but the problem was I kind of just flew past him after a little bit. Okay. That didn't work. I was about to glide, but no, I'm in master form. Try that again. Let's go. This is it. This is it. Back off. Yeah, we cannot have that combo finisher. You saw it just smacks him to the ground. Come on. 
Yep. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm pretty sure we tried final form before. And that gave me the same problem. But we'll go ahead and try final form. Again. Let's go. <laughs> yep, that went just as well as expected. Yeah, the Keyblades can smack him to the ground. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um... What about... What about, uh... Actually, Valor's not gonna work. Wisdom's not gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. I feel like I, I feel like just being normal Sora is probably the best route. And I already know none of the other limits work. I already know that. Wait, do I know that? Hold on. Teamwork. And you know what? Let me make it easier on myself. Let's go. Yeah, it doesn't count to, for the score. Yep. Had a feeling. What about Trinity? Twenty five. Uh, is that enough? Yes. Because Sora's the one attacking. Oh, oops. Let's see if this works. Let's go. Okay. The first one works, but not the other two. If only Sora was by himself, because I could have gone that second one again. Let me try something. Let's go. Is he still in the air? Nope, he landed. Okay. I had a feeling that would be the case. I had a feeling that'd be the case. Uh, yeah, we're going to put things back. Wait, why is Donald... Oh, yeah, that's right. There we go. I had to unequip a bunch of his stuff just to have uh, take off his accessories. What the? Why'd I jump up? Uh, okay. This is already one of the harder ones. We're having a lot of trouble. I can I can't use magic. Hmm. Not the best. But hold on. Let's go. Back off. Nope. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Let's go. 
Ah. Oh. Okay. That went well, but I did not realize that I ran out of MP and I needed to like set up Comet just to keep him in the air. Let's go. Yeah, uh, I need to actually use up my MP. No! He got launched farther ahead! I had got the right idea. Where I kept him in the air, but... It didn't last. Because Comet doesn't actually add to the counter. I still have to hit him. Myself. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do about that? I couldn't have made it. There was no way for me to make that. Okay, hold on. What if I take out Hastra? Make it take a little bit longer for me to go to my blue bar. I, mm, I could have continued that. I could have continued. That was close. Actually, I need to use up my MP. That was closer. All right. So just mashing X seems to be better. At the very least, it's more consistent because I can keep up with him. When I use square, I tend to send him forward, and I have to catch up to him. That's not always consistent. Oh, I probably could have just attacked him myself. Yeah, I could have just attacked him myself right there. The point of Comet is so is to just keep him in the air just a little bit longer for me to catch up. But once we get past 50, he still gets launched a little bit too far sometimes. 
honestly, it's like the stuff like the bushes in the environment that actually just makes the makes this more annoying. I I would almost suggest this to be a better location to try to do something like this, but I don't know what location would be best. Because most of the time, I'm just caught up by some bushes and debris. And I can't catch up. Oh, great. There was no way. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Uh, this is the last Mushroom 13 that needs to be done. This is the last one. And of course, it has to be this one. And we need to get to 85. And I have a crown now. Because I fought and beaten Lingering Will with Peter Panchies. This mushroom good. Yeah, this one is a little bit RNG. There's just too much debris. There's too many things to block your path because I could be like over here and then he gets launched like right over here and I can't do anything to catch up. But yeah, I beat Lingering Will with Peter Pan. Took a little bit to set up, but once I did, it was first try. No, 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 I can't reach. The problem is if I tried gliding, uh I would be too I'd still be too uh, too high up to get him. Spent like eight hours grinding yesterday in Battle Network 4. Now you have a lot of Zenia 310 bug frags. I mean, that's a that's a lot of grinding that you did, which, let's be honest, that's pro you're probably still not done. <laughs> you're probably still not done with it. Oh, yeah, you should be able to get a lot of things with that, but again, you're still probably not done with it. I noticed when you got into the second half of Battle Network, it's like the money requirement got like like a lot larger to to get everything versus like the the first three. Yeah, you need a lot of money, but not nearly as much as four, five, and six. My God, the the wall, the wall stopped me. You see that? The wall stopped me from continuing. You check that's all the bug frags you need, and you think you could buy out the Undernet Five shop and anything else you need. Well, that's something. So it sounds like you're done with bug frags, but. You're not done with, uh, you're, you might not be done with money. You know what? Hold on. That, that wall deserves a rigged. If that wall wasn't there, I probably would have gotten it. That that was RNG. I couldn't couldn't do that one. He got launched basically to the ground. Heal. 
But yeah, I don't know if you saw uh, yesterday, but I was trying out the Hades Cup, and my god, I am in like the round 30s, and uh, I can't get that far. Yeah, okay. I couldn't have gotten Comet. You keep hearing the Flintstones theme? Hmm. Actually, I was actually thinking of something. The intro to, like, uh, to the song makes me think of, uh, uh, I don't know if you've seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but it's, like, the second intro. Like, I don't know why, but I can line up, like, the beginning part of the lyrics of that second intro to kind of, the, to the song. I don't know why. It's just like a different beat, but I, it kind of works. And, and that just kind of popped in my head the other day. I don't know why. I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist in a long time. I, I need It's one of those shows I need to rewatch. Stones, me, th yeah, I can, I can see that. But like in uh, the Full Metal Alchemist bit, it's like I, I, I would machino kaken she me ma so so it's like something like that, and like it kind of has a similar uh, opening to it to me, and I forgot to. It's been so long since I heard that song. It's not necessarily, like... It's more of, like... Placing the words and just... Change the pacing of the song just ever so slightly. It some, for some reason, fits for me. And I bet you if I actually listen to the song, that's not the case. But, you know. It's just how my brain is right now. Nothing. Uh, uh, you saw that Sora smacked him to the ground. Yeah, this one is a little RNG. See, I'm already going to the wall. Okay, good. I couldn't have gotten Comet. Uh, I can't... You can't land to the ground faster. And when I try to attack in the air, uh, you kind of stay in place while he drops. I think we're just going to get the same thing again. Yep. See what I mean? Nothing can be done. What do we got? And I don't know what else you can do for this. As you can see, I, I've gotten to 78 before, but like, it is a little RNG dependent.
Nope. Okay. Let's try doing that instead. I again, I always found it weird that in this world, you could go to back to the top of Yensid's tower, but Yensid and the fairies are not there and you can't talk to them. They disappear forever in this game anyway. And I never understood that. Even though Yensid comes back into play, kind of, in later stuff. Yeah, I need the mushroom to head towards the train, because that's my best shot. Can't. Make it, dang it. So I know for a fact that if I have all of my MP rest restoration stuff, I will be able to limit before the 50 mark. Let's go. Yeah. I could I could try doing that again. Maybe I need all the MP recharge stuff that I can. I don't, I don't know what happened there. What do you think happened there? There would need to be a better location for this guy. And you know what? If we had to do this mushroom where Sephiroth was, or where you meet the 13th mushroom, those would be better locations for a challenge like this. You know, flat ground, with nothing getting in your way. Oh, almost. I don't know if I should just spam Donald's comment. The problem is, like, it's really just there to keep him in the air. And the limit gauge just drains way too much if I don't use Donald. But when I use Comet, it gets him higher and higher in the air to where I can't catch up. So I don't know what to do. I missed it. I missed it. Oh well, yeah. I, I just think this is an awful location for a minigame like this. Why couldn't the dancing one be here? Or the one where you have to hit him multiple times to get him to spin? Why couldn't that one be here? And then this one in the place of, uh, like, those two swap. I know the spinning one makes more sense because, you know, Demix fight, but... But still, like, this is just an awful location. Or just change the minigame. But hey, this is reminiscent of the blue mushrooms from Kingdom Hearts 1, 
So it was more probably more or less a copy and paste job. Oh, and I, also, this is just a final challenge of stuff like the Grand Stacker minigame. It's like, oh, you got a combo of 100 in Grand Stacker. Well, let's see if you can do it again. I couldn't... I couldn't reach him. There was nothing I could do. Quick run wouldn't have been quick enough. And also, I couldn't jump out of it. Ah. Uh, was that... Like... That was my best run, and I was four off. I was four away from getting it. Okay, hold on. MP, come back. If only there was like a specific corner we could get him trapped in, but it doesn't really work. Pressed it too late. Uh, no, I need to waste the MP gauge again. So, again, in Battle Network, you still need to get all the standard chips, right, to fight base. How many are you missing? What was I supposed to do? You only need the ones from the shops. Oh, okay. And you're missing heat side. Oh, really? That's weird. Getting them all today. Very nice. Could have done it off screen. Might as well do it on screen. Yeah, I... If you get... My philosophy was, if it's something that the chat... Or that I haven't shown on stream before... I'd rather at least show it on screen, even if it's money grinding. I do the money grinding off screen, but then I buy the stuff on screen if I haven't shown it before. Yeah, pretty much. But you should be able to fight base then. And then you can start going to Black Earth. Then you could get a fast gauge star. Another one you, you're missing was Time Bomb. Really? Time Bomb. You still need the other codes for the program in advance, but you you could get it in Green Mystery Dana? Okay. Never once got in your three players. Is that? Yeah. It's a town blue... What? It's a, ta it's a town Green Mystery Dana? That's interesting. Uh, 
Continued that. I was trying to get another comet going, but it, I was too late. Yeah, sometimes when you're playing through the games, you are shocked on which ones you are missing. Sometimes. It's like, really? I don't have this? I should have gotten it by now. Vulcan 3T. Well, you already have Vulcan 3. You're just trying to get more for your folder, correct? Okay, that's the last one. I couldn't have done anything. Is it best to spam Comet just to use it all up? Or do I should I time it? Vulcan 3Ts are only found in Undernet 2 Green Mystery Data. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can't you... No, you can't really save in front of stuff, can you? And just reload whatever chip it is. Because if it's a chip, whatever it is, that's what you're going to get in until you reset the internet areas, isn't it? Well, at least if you get the shortcut to Undernet 3, it'll be easy to get back there. What place did you grind in for uh, bug frags? I found Undernet 2 to be one of the better ones. Because there was an enemy formation with, uh, what was it, three shrimpies? That shoot the bubblers at you? And none of them could hit the green mystery data. It was impossible. So as long as you don't destroy it yourself, it was completely safe. Even if there were better spots to get bug frags, you're dealing with harder enemies and enemies that can more likely destroy the green mystery data. Same thing again. Okay, hold on. Probably need more money for more lock enemies. Yeah. Internet 2, equip fish. Yeah, so the fishy enemies. And again, what I did when I did that sort of stuff, I would use a lock enemy on the one with the green mystery data, save, and then run into a random encounter. If it was the same enemy, fight it. If I got the... Then if I got what I was going for, like money or bug frags, then you save again. But if not... If not, then you reset. Oh, come on. That probably would have worked out fine. But yeah, if you get an enemy formation you're not trying to find, or uh, if you don't get the reward you want, just reset your save. So that way you get the most out of your lock enemies. But you're still probably going to spend a lot of time resetting.
He got launched way too far. He can get launched away from the comet. Huh. Interesting. I want to check something. Let's go. Oh. Not reflect. I had that set up for the other one. Because I want to jump and reflect to be on the same button. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, I could use Thunder to keep him in the air just a little bit longer. But that's not gonna actually help me. It's not it's not gonna help you because if I'm in the air and I launch him forward with my you know my uh final hit then what's going to happen is he gets launched forward, and we're both in the air. I use Thunder to keep him in the air, but I'm not falling, so it's not going to solve anything. Stupid bush. The bush got in the way. Probably could have continued that. fell through? He can fall through the comet? I don't... I don't really know. I don't know what to do. Genie doesn't do anything. So... That won't help. I don't think Peter's gonna do anything either. And I know Sitch just gives me back my magic, and that's not what I need. <laughs> no! No! So Peter's not gonna fight. But let me check something. Let's go! Uh, it's not going up. Yeah, so summoning Peter is not going to make a difference. Using a limit won't help. Stitch is just going to not do anything and just give me back my magic. And in this case, that's not what I want. And if Peter Pan's not going to help, Chicken Little or Genie are not going to help either. I don't know. I think this is just 
supposed to be something where it's really RNG and you just need to hope it lines up perfectly. Because I don't know what, what else to do. I was like a second off. Okay. We are gonna get out of MP charge like very quickly. We'll see if that helps. That really should just... Okay, hold on. The... Maybe there's an ability I can unequip. Not that one. No. Not that one. I wish I could do this nearby enemies. No, not that one. That's fine. Slide dash, vicinity break, guard break, explosion. Okay, real sweet. We're being attacked on targets in mid-air. Powerful arrow attack on distant targets. Okay, this one... Wait. That does multiple hits. Wait, can't I pair it up with Magnet Burst? Why, I didn't really try, did I? Goes on targets in midair. We sp spinning attacks. Is that the one I want to unequip? I want to unequip that first hit from ground to air. This, that one I want to unequip. Okay, no. Uh, the one I unequip is actually one I really want to keep. You know, you want to know something? If I was not caught by that bush, that would have been okay. But, honestly, it's one less hit, that's for sure. However, I think I might be able to catch him a little bit easier. Which a powerful aerial attack on distant targets. I think it's this one I want to unequip. Yeah. Uh, I was able to catch him. Oh, well, I well, I probably would have anyway. Okay, magnet burst doesn't work. Good to know. Too far away. I might equip that one ability back. But as you can see, I was still able to catch him. Probably a lot better than having the ability equipped. What am I going to do? 
hold on. Let's go ahead and take that one off. couldn't reach. Yeah, okay. We're still probably better off with... It was... This one. We're still probably better off with that. I couldn't catch up to him. But if I had that one, I probably could have. It's a weird trade-off. I also hit an extra time instead. I don't know how else to do this. I want to make sure he's still heading towards the train. Perfect. I did it! That was it! We're done! Oh my god. Oh, we're done. That was the last of it. Oh my god. We're finally done. Okay. I'm putting that back on. Uh, guard, that was unequipped for whatever reason. Put that back in. And it's sure, we'll keep everything else as is. Oh, it's nice to be done. And Donald needs his ability back. Donald, you need Duck Flare back. On to the Great Maw. We completed all of them and out from the heavens. We gotta look up at the sky from the heavens. It's the 13th mushroom. Just talk to him. And he bestows upon you the winner's proof. Gain a weapon of extraordinary magic and great strength. Disables the gaining of experience though. And we get the proof of peace. Proof of appeasing the Mushroom 13. Perhaps it has changed Sora. And we have a silver crown. And all the Mushroom 13 just fly up into the heavens. Oh, that's done. And we got the winner's proof. Okay, hold, hold on. Let me put things back. So, ultimate weapon. 6-4. Winner's Proof is less strength, but way more magic. But you have the no experience part. I may just throw Winner's Proof on final form. I'm trading strength for magic. And I'm not losing a combo. 
We got the proof of peace. There we go. Mushroom 13 is done. So, Hades Cup and Data rematches. That's what's left. And, well, maybe Synthesis. Synthesis grinding. Maybe. I don't know. By Synthesis grinding, I mean just grinding for materials. But you can still do the mini games if you want. Try to get a perfect score or something. No, we're done with that though. It only took a little over an hour. Actually, less than an hour to do both of those. So that wasn't that bad. Okay. But we're still doing, you know, these fights. And I don't know what the best route is. I might need to just look up how to do the, some of these fights. If there's some specific strategies. But in all reality, it's probably just get good. Still haven't even gotten to round two of Zemnis. Okay. I kind of lucked out there. Took a risk. Well, it's nice to be done with Mushroom 13. That's just one less thing that needs to be done. Oh, dang it. Oh, I... That was an elixir. I thought it was a high potion. Oh well. I probably could have saved that. Okay. I'm kind of waiting for him to just do that one, like, infinite dance move. I'm just waiting for him to do that uh, that stronger boogie down. Okay. And that's the move I was trying to look for. That was the move I was trying to look for. One thousand one hundred and twenty. Yeah. These fights are difficult. So I can already tell you that Reflect is probably my best damaging move on any of these fights. Obviously, I can't necessarily spam it. But Reflect is probably the most damage I'm going to do. So that needs to be the main damaging factor. Oops. Ooh. Okay. 
Again, I'll save an elixir for if I need it. He didn't manage to hit me. He got close, though. I wonder if I could get away with a combo plus. Just a single combo plus. Let me try. Combo. But we may need... You know what? Decisive Pumpkin might actually work f better. Because I have elixirs if I ever go into MP Rage. And I barely use my MP. And Decisive Pumpkin might be the better option. Yeah, I could get away with a single combo plus. Maybe two. We could try for two. But definitely not any more air combos, that's for sure. Whenever I hit him with Reflect, it launches him into the air. I I think it only rarely, rarely gets him onto the ground. So maybe I could get away with another combo plus. Could have glided. But that was the move I was waiting for. Because I don't fully know how to deal with it. I may swap to Decisive Pumpkin. More ground combo damage. So I can totally get away with it. He does teleport though, but I think I can get away in time. Because I'm already on the ground. Reflected one too many times. I basically quick run into it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I should get rid of the one 
Combo plus. At least a full five combo, uh, ground combo, does the same am Ooh. does the same amount as a reflect. And I could probably do more decisive pumpkin. I would have to spam it twice for that to work. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of one. And let's go with Decisive Pumpkin. Where is it? Way less magic. So that means if I try reflecting, I'm gonna be doing less damage. But my ground combo game is still going to be really good. We'll see how this goes. Still a lot of damage. I don't know if it was worth it, but... We'll stick with this for now. Somehow I went with the ground combo and I would have been trapped. He's going to be going for that one move soon. Try something when he teleports. Well, that was awful. That that was not a part of the plan. I'm just now realizing that those deaths did not take. Okay, so I need to add on two to the death counter. For some reason, it's just not taking. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Okay, one took. One of them took. I need to add one more. Okay, the last one took took a little bit. It's over. Okay. Okay, that took. Um, 
there's actually something I want to test out. We're going to add another combo plus. So I really want to try blocking when he teleports. But I can't do that while I'm still in the air. Yeah, I can't do that efficiently, so I'm gonna ground combo. Okay. Well, that's something. It might not be the best, though. But we could try it out a little bit longer. But yeah, if I'm just prepared to block whenever he teleports like this, then that might help me for when he does that later desperation move. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, we can suffer off that. That works. Yes, guard, be my best friend. Okay, I guess I did not time the guard right. But that worked out better. Oh, that works. And here's the thing. Even if he does the spinny dance move, you can block the whole thing. It's not ideal because I would rather reflect, but you can do it. Okay. You just gotta time the guard just right. Too soon and you're blocking in the wrong direction. Too late and, well, you're dead. I think I'm getting the right idea. Perfect. Guard break. See, I, I guarded too soon. I guarded too soon, so he hit me in the back. If only Sora was able to guard basically behind him. Getting the timing right. I, I'm finding it a little bit better when I move the camera. Oh. If I'm able to move the camera to uh, figure out where he's at, it's a little bit better.
I did not finish the combo in time. So, yeah, that didn't work. Yep, there it is. Again, I have I don't have Donald or Goofy, so it's not like man, imagine if I had Stitch. I could just spam reflect. I mean with all my elixirs I could spam reflect. But there's two fights here. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I could try spamming reflect. I just have to use up my elixirs. And is it worth it? Probably, I don't know. You can get a lot of reflex in there. See, I gotta be careful. Still need to press it twice. Okay. Yep. If he does that move when he teleports to me, I can't reflect through it. I guess I could have tried to limit, uh, limit form out of it. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. Timed it wrong. I th you kind of just need to time it right when the orb stops moving. And there's like that part of me of just waiting for it to just go right in front of me instead. Guard going, keep it going. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I gotta learn how to deal with that. That works. Uh, this is the move I wanted to wait for. So it's good to know I can glide through it. I am able to glide through that move. Um, I wanted to know if I could block it. Do 
because that's going to be the wheel real question. That's probably going to be the real consistent way for me to get out of that move. It's the same move as this dance one. But the difference is, it's. I think he catches up to you a lot faster. And it's either mess around with data rematches or Hades Cup right now. Those are my only options. So nice to know I could suffer off this. Yes, you can. Don't try to quick run. That just means I don't guard in time. I gotta time that guard into attack a lot better. That's what's catching me. Data Zebnus, I have a silver crown now, so I can have a better chance of beating you. Clearly gives me a power boost. It gives me the confidence. And he's like, oh really? Let's see you block this. <laughs> That's basically what just happened. Again, there's a second fight. Keep the block going. Yeah, I kind of want to get away from the building. I want to be on flat ground. Okay. Perfect.
So as we kind of saw there, uh, I was able to block, but because he kept spinning around me, uh, I, I, I couldn't, uh, he technically hit me in the back. Maybe I should have reflected if I'm caught in that scenario. Maybe I should have started gliding. I don't know. Yeah, to leave some really family issues. Uh, it's, it's all good. I mean, it's more of like, do what you need to do. Beat the mushroom? Yes, we're done with mushroom 13. I have the silver crown. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm fighting Zemnis. Yeah. But yeah, the the keyblade you get is actually really strong. So I put it on final form. Oh, okay, he got caught. the hell happened? Figured it'd be good. Right. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened there. I was blocking, I was doing everything fine, but for some reason, it's just like, uh, no, you're done. You're done now. Blocking's my best friend, but for some reason it didn't help me in that one instance. Yeah, it's so nice we could just break through that. Keep blocking. Go. I I did it right. At least I thought so. If you did like the faster version of that, I probably would have been okay. But it's too bad, I can't really, I, I, I can't, um, guard into a reflect, can I? Just in case I miss. Like, there, there's still some end lag. I messed that up. Okay, saved myself. Notice he doesn't really go for the guard that much. It it must be distance based. There must be some sort of distance mechanic for what move he's gonna do. When he never mind. No, I blocked at the right time. At least I think I did. But he just went for the dance. Maybe I need a better way of handling this. Okay. 
camera makes it so hard to keep track. Okay, uh, that was a mistake. I actually succeeded in the block. Okay, hold on. Yeah, um... So how quick is that block? I can't really tell. I can't really tell if I can save myself. If I'm low on MP, I'll eat the hit. It's fine. Okay, no. I have a full MP bar. if it is distance based or not or if it is just random no i was right next to him and he didn't go for guard I just didn't... Yeah, I didn't guard at the right time. If there is cheese for this fight, I don't know it. far away enough for me to block. Okay. Okay, so if he goes into a guard attack, I could just immediately attack anyway. That works. Okay, good to know. And capitalize on that. I don't know what else to try. It feels like Guardian is my safest bet. I think I can guard break the dance move. I mean, I could try. I don't think I can. And even if I could, the normal one, I don't think the, the faster variant would work. Might have guarded a little too soon. 
That might have been the case. I don't know why I'm targeting Zeminus. I just it just means there's two fights. I just have something going here. Kind of. You know, if I time everything right. I could try Axel again. It just kind of felt like I was just relying on Reflect. And even then, it was always so helpful. Okay. That... Okay, whatever. 1,150. Just kind of bashing my head against a wall right here. Oh, come on. Like, literally the final hit got me. Well, I'm not gonna elixir that. Kayana, how's it going? Uh, I beat Ligering Will. I'm uh, with Peter Pan Strats. I don't know if you caught that one. Uh, I finished the Mushroom 13. And uh, so we got Data rematches, the rest of them, and Hades Cup. That's what, that's what I think you missed. So we're at the worst parts. How's it going? What's going on on your end? So far, Block is my friend against Zemnis. But even then, it's not perfect. Kinda get him in the loop. But the problem is if he does a dance move, usually that catches me. Still haven't beaten Zemnis? Nope. There's a lot of the organization I haven't beaten. Remember, there's two fights here. Yeah, data rematches are annoying. Oh, that was dumb. He... <sighs> Am I blocking too fast? So yeah, uh, we got... Going from this way, we got Larxene, Axel, Lexius... No, Zexion, sorry. Vexen, Zigbar, Ze uh, Zemnis, Zaldin, Demix, and Marluxia. That's who we have to beat. 
And I still got the rest of Hades' cup. It's a lot. And I don't know why I'm really targeting Xemnas. I just kind of found a, uh... A strat. Not saying it's a good strat. But it's a strat. Because we do this. Teleports. Guard, break through it, Com combo, rinse, repeat. Okay, because just like Sephiroth, we can break his combo with, this in, uh, with the guard break and able to attack him. So that works. If you wait till after the attack is done, uh, you've waited too long. He, he goes after you. I mean, we could try other fights. See? Well, that kind of worked out, but if he teleports, that would have been bad. It's kind of interesting that the that the guard break goes through his shield. That makes it interesting. So when it's the slower dance, I could just block the entire time. The other time, though, I might need to swap to Reflex. But if you're caught, if you're hit once, he combos you to death. Still wonder what Demix and Luke Sword's real names are? Yeah, that's a good point. Because we know Marluxia's and L Larxene's from the mobile game. I guess they were in there. But we don't know about the other two. Makes me think it has something to do with, uh, what was it? Uh, Yuzora. I mean, the theory is Luke Sword was Yuzora's, like, driver. Limo driver. Demix? Who knows? I think I'd rather go with Dime for Demix. And I guarded too- that's me guarding too soon. Okay, I'm kind of feeling maybe a different fight. Uh, let's try Axel. Just kind of want to break it up a little bit. that. Okay, so... Yeah, that didn't work out. Let's try that again. Dr. Olu? I, I don't think Doctor is a part of it. Louder? I don't I'll know. Burn, 
I know he's weak to ice, so we could throw in blizzards, but I don't know. What the? I, I have no clue what happened there. Like, do I even bother going in for an attack if he gets stunned? Come here. I'll make it all stop. I have elixirs to mess around with if I need to, though. Dang it. Lord you for Luxord. Lord you. No. Lord you. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe they just kind of put himself in a corner. It's obvious they came up with the name Lux, Luke Sword first. You know what I mean? They came up with that first, but then they're just like, oh, great. What do we have to call him now, anyway? Uh, we'll worry about that never. I timed that way too soon. Let's try this again. It is nice having the rematch Axel at the very least because, you know, very f first fight you do, you know? Kind of nice to have a tougher fight over it. Is he saying get back? What's he saying? Okay, he's setting this up again. Oh no, desperation. And I timed it wrong. I mean... I got him into a reflect, like, not infinite, but he just kept doing it. But I don't know what to do about that desperation. There was a pause there. Come here. I'll make it all stop. There was a pause. So I wonder if I can press reflect by three times, pause, and then press it again. Hmm. Well, you see, Luxu was actually a special nobody from the fictional world. So to survive, he needed a special mark. A Y. So actu his actual nobody name is Luxord. So his real name is Udol. So, again, retcons upon retcons. It's like, okay, Nomura, whatever. Like, why bother trying? <laughs> At least I could just mash triangle instead of needing to lock on. I don't need to lock on to do that.
Okay, so did I just not time that right? What happened there? Yeah, you know what? I probably timed it too soon. We could figure out the timing for that desperation move. I think I could just reflect spam it. Come here. I'll make it all stuck. I wonder if it's worth actually not getting rid of the fire. So I think he gets two attacks in, and then once he's stunned once, we could keep him in the infinite. S just slowly w learning how this works. Throwing Blizzard. Okay. I timed it too soon. Wait. It didn't. It really didn't seem like it. Oh well. Fine. It really didn't seem like I timed it too soon. Good thing Aladdin free genie in KH one. Why? What's your reasoning? Okay, he can break through that. I wasn't sure. So nobody's got their hands on the genie's lamp. They could easily wish for him to be a nobody and sort of be screwed. That is a good point. It makes you wonder why they never tried to find Genie Jafar themselves. Because the nobodies. Well, okay, so no. Pete was trying to f get J Jafar's lamp in the first visit. But the nobodies. No, they didn't even attempt. That's an interesting point. Because Jafar may be... Jafar is a genie, so he would still have to abide by those rules, I think. Yeah, why didn't they attempt to try to get... Jafar's lamp. Come here. I'll make it all stuck. Yeah, Jafar probably would co cooperate a little bit. Well, Jafar has his own motives, so I don't know how much he would actually cooperate. But if one of the organization members went over to Agrabah, found Jafar's lamp, and wished for... Like, they could have wished for Jafar to turn into a nobody or something. Like, there were many things that could have happened. Hmm, I was trying something. Yeah, t wish for... S well, actually, they probably just wish for Jafar... Genie Jafar to turn into a Heartless, which means they get their nobody. 
Hey, you, you get the nobody and Sora has to fight a Heartless. But the problem is, you know Disney wouldn't go for it. I mean, we got Heartless Scar and he was barely a Heartless. I'm honestly, like... Uh, couldn't they wish for hearts? I mean, that's the real reason. Well, in this game, yeah, that's their reasoning for doing what they're doing. So, yeah, they could have just done that. But the retcon is that wouldn't work. You know the retcon. I actually hate that that's a retcon, and that's the here's the thing. It can easily work if it was revealed in this game. And there's a perfect opportunity for it to uh pop in. Xemnas could have revealed that nobody's actually do have hearts on your first on your first fight with him. After you've defeated everyone else. When no other heart, when no other nobody is left. Come here. I'll make it all stop. But no, eh, you know it's a retcon. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. What to try? I already know that the Peter Pan strat doesn't work on any of these fights. If it lurks, works on Lark's scene, the problem is she has a clone. It works on no other fight. So what to do? How's it going? It's going okay, Hot Corn Dog. We made progress. But for right now, it's Data Organization and uh, Hades Cup. Like, those are what's left. And it's going just as well as before. What's going on, on your end? Either way, a genie heartless nobody would still be godlike. Yeah, I don't know why they even... Did they just not know about Genie Jafar? They sh actually, they probably wouldn't know. I, okay, I guess I wasn't locked on to him. It would help if I was locked on. some bloodborne got to the cheap part of the guide but you're gonna skip that roxas does meet genie yeah he does but yeah but it's been too long since i played three five a that i can't tell you like any context because he might have asked that question. Okay, now block works. I still have Duck Flare. Don't know if it was worth it, but we're going for it. Stunned. 
don't remember if he remembers that genie is powerful. Probably. The whole thing about nobody's not having a heart, and then being all like, oh, what are emotions? And at the same time, all they do is be emotional and dramatic. Yeah, I think the whole uh, retcon in Dream Drop where Xemnas is like, oh, nobody's actually half hearts. I was just lying to them the entire time. That could be revealed here, and it wouldn't be a retcon. But when you wait all the way for Dream Drop to reveal that, it's a retcon. It comes off as Nomura realizing that all these guys seem to have emotions for those who don't have hearts. And wrote that in because he realized that was a plot hole, basically. Okay, I got about eight. Did I get that attack going? Uh, only about three, but gotta get what we can't. And that was a waste. Yeah, it comes off as Nomura realizing the plot hole because people told him and then writing that as a retcon. But it... But the thing is, since they don't know he... It's a twist. Why do none of them think, yeah, we should wish for hearts or at least try. Again, do any of them, e other than Roxas, did any of them even know that Genie exists? I forget the events of 358. Because he might have thought about that, but then it's like, okay, let's not tell the organization about a, that the genies could do that. Because Roxas might have actually thought about it. But yeah, like, if they wanted to have the reveal of that nobody's actually do have hearts, you can reveal it within this game. There is a perfect opportunity to do that. And I'll mention again. Right when uh, you defeat all the nobodies, uh, right when you defeat the last nobody before Xemnas, so Saix. So when Xemnas is the only one left, uh, what could happen is like Sora and Xemnas are talking, and that's when Xemnas could reveal that we actually have heart. We nobodies actually have hearts. I've just been lying to them like a cult leader. <laughs> I'm evil, Sora. And that would have been an actual good time to reveal that. But that's not what... But that's not what nobodies actually were supposed to be. They were supposed to not have hearts. Maybe not jumping right away, so that way he doesn't have invincibility. There we go. Play it safe. And Goofy's just here. I didn't reflect in time. I feel like all that Nomura does is patch up plot holes. Yeah, he patches up plot holes and then creates five more in its place. That's what he does. Also, isn't one of the small plot holes is that Donald's like, oh, where does Master... 
this is where Master Yensen lives, but then birth by sleep. He already visited the tower. tower. Yes, exactly. That's also another plot hole. Granted, it's it was like, what, 10 years since he probably been there, but it's still the same tower. He would know. I don't think anyone other than Roxas knows, to, to be fair about Genie. But the whole reason they know about anything is that they scout ahead. Again, it makes me... But they were probably having Roxas do a lot of the scouting missions. And if Roxas knew about the genie, he might have not mentioned it. Did they find out that they have hearts in KH3? You find out that plot twist in Dream Drop. But if you remember the new Organization 13, they're all uh, about Xehanort's plan anyway. So it doesn't really matter if they know or not. Did I not time it right? Okay. Okay, I'm just realizing I decisive pumpkin is not helping me. Not for this fight. I either want Hero's Crest, Ultima Weapon, or, um... Actually, hold on. Since we're relying on jump... Where is it? Guardian Soul. We, we, we are using jump a lot for this one. How about some extra damage? Because I'm never on the ground in this fight. Man, I never use this Keyblade. I am not timing it right. There it is. Yeah, like, the reveal of nobody's having hearts doesn't really matter in Kingdom Hearts 3 because everyone there is kind of just there for whatever the plan Xehanort has anyway, so it doesn't matter. Zalin Soku, yeah, he is my favorite organization member. The Six Lances is what, you know, does it. But you can make an argument that, like, the six lances are a bit excessive. Like, that's a little much. But even if you ignore the fact that, like, the other lances that he's not using is controlled by the wind. He's holding three of them. As a lance master, he is able to use three at once. That's impressive in and of itself. And there's a little bit of uh, growth because in 358, if you actually play as Zaldan, uh, when you play as him, he uses two lances in each hand. So at some point between 358 and the events of K KH2, he somehow trained enough to master using three lances in his hands. You could argue that the DS holding, only holding two was like a limitation thing, but no, I'm gonna ca That's my head cannon. Uh, 
this is the trap. If he just kept spamming his wind, I would have been dead. And I got caught. Okay. So what was the plot twist of how the organizations come back from the dead? Time travel. That's what it was. Because, okay. First of all, I hate time travel when it wasn't a plot, uh, like a thing to begin with. So I already hate it, it, it that in concept. But their version of time travel, in this case, is that you can only time travel to a previous version of yourself, aka your heart, if if your if your heart was there. That's when you can basically time travel your conscious to. One Xehanort kind of separated his consciousness or something, so that way he could be in multiple places at once, and he's also basically horcruxed himself into the other members of his group in id 3 so that way there's multiple versions of Xehanort so he, that's how time travel is a thing and you know I say that's the rules of Kingdom Hearts time travel Kingdom Hearts 2 already has Timeless River it already has time travel so, did Xehanort retcon the time travel? Or does it... Is it explained by Merlin's magic? Is it allowed to do that? But if Merlin's magic is able to do that, why can't... Like, like Xehanort do something like that? So, it, it kind of seems like... It's just unnecessarily complicated. But then again, that's just Kingdom Hearts for you. Okay. It was too high up. There's a right time to hit him. Okay, that that wasn't it. Right there? Yes. Get him locked in. That was a little bit too late though. That's a lot of lances, exactly. Ta time travel is super tricky to write. Especially when they wreck on it. But, here's the thing. With time travel for me. I like time travel. When the story's based around it to begin with. Like, I, I liked Chrono Trigger. I liked Back to the Future. Because those those stories from day one had time travel as the concept. But when you insert time travel into, into a story that never had time travel to begin with, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Marvel Infinity War, or Endgame, that's when you mess things up. That's when I hate it. Because now whatever stakes that there were can just be undone. Okay, I timed it wrong. But but yeah, if time travel is the the main focus of the entire story or series, then I'm fine with it. 
So what you're hearing is that there's an alternate timeline where Zaldin was never defeated by Sora and, in, and by KH3, judging by how Zaldin's number of lances increases by 1.5 each game. No, it's not that... No, he's always had six. He's always had six lances. But if you notice during the fight, he's holding three in his hands and the other three are being controlled by the wind. In 358, which that takes place during the year's sleep that Sora's under... Uh, when you play as Zaldin, he's holding two lances. The other four are controlled by wind. So it's not that he gets more lances, it's just that he's mastered using an, three lances with his normal body. To where he only, he needs the wind to control the rest. So it's not that he's gaining more lances, it's just that he's learning how to actually use his lances without the need of wind. Got him. There seems to be a specific uh, timing to get him locked in like this. Right here. Duck Flare. Okay. And I was dead. So I would actually really fit into Final Fan uh, Final Fantastication of KH4 engine. So by KH3, he'd hold all six? Yeah, probably. Well, wait, how much time... Well, hold on a minute. How much time was it between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 in-universe? So maybe not. He probably wouldn't know how to use even a fourth. Because in-universe... Uh, what happens after Kingdom Hearts 2? Let's see. Uh, Recoded happens, which that's... Who knows how long that actually takes? But most of it is in the data scape anyway. There. And then Dream Drop happens, which that takes place not only in the... Like, in the sleeping worlds, but it's also in the past. one new lance per game. The problem is he probably just never ha has enough time to actually train to use a lance. Consider the fact that uh, he doesn't become a nobody. He doesn't he doesn't go back to being a nobody. I think he's still in his human form. And that did not take. There we go. We finally took. Since that they time travel, can they travel back in time and try to recover... Kyrie's personality from one uh no because remember unless you use Merlin's magic which he only used that once uh you can only time travel back to a spot you've been to before in a certain place in time you're just transferring your consciousness and you know I got a time travel plot hole for you in Dream Drop. Specifically, Dream Drop. Um, so in Dream Drop, Sora and Riku, for their mas uh, Mark of Mastery exam, tra time travel to the past so they can uh, go to the sleeping worlds, right? 
so the entire time they're in the past. Why is there the Tron sequel in the past? When we do Tron 1 in Kingdom Hearts 2. Not as many jumps. Tron plot hole. I know, right? No one brings it up. Oh, no. Uh, he really hates Kyrie. He really does. He really doesn't like Kyrie. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try... Let's try someone else. Marluxia? Sure. Uh, sure. We die in one hit anyway. But yeah, isn't that a plot hole? <laughs> when they're in the Sleeping Worlds, they are still in the past, right? And if they're in the past, how are they doing the Tron sequel movie? That's the only one that has that sort of plot hole, I think. Yeah, they set up Kyrie so much in 3, just to not do anything with her. Oh, I don't know why I have... I still have Guardian Soul equipped. Uh, for Dream Drop Distance, instead of Sora and Riku, make it Kyrie and Lee. They still have... They can still have the kidnapping of Sora to make him a heartless. Kyrie has to work with Lee to save him. Kyrie run into Ansem and Sora's mind. Be a very touching moment. We would have a good reason to have those two train. Or, you know, or a nobody. Or a right. Man, 3 underutilized a lot of concepts, didn't it? <laughs> Uh, what would I want? Uh, Hero's Crest. Now nah, we'll, we'll just go with Ultimate Weapon. Because, like, with 3, there's, a, okay, there's a lot of things about 3 that I don't like plot-wise. One, uh, the training that Kyrie and Lee go through. First of all, we barely see it. I wish we could have played some of that. That would have been cool. And ultimately, it doesn't really matter because their training wasn't significant enough. But another big thing I don't like plot wise about 3 Sora's whole journey, his whole reason to do, go to the different worlds is to find the power of waking. Right? And he just needs to learn how to do it. And the reason why they're having him learn that is so... Yensid forbids him from going to save Aqua without the power of waking, right? But yet, at the end of the day, once you complete all the Disney worlds, Sora just goes after Aqua anyway without the power of weak, uh, waking. He just goes to save Aqua. And he doesn't have the power of waking. Then what was the point of the entire journey before that? <laughs> it, it, it just comes off as the entire journey of Kingdom Hearts 3 until you get to like the final section of the game completely pointless. And because Sora not getting the power... Since Sora not getting the power of rank, waking or not actually didn't matter, what you could have done instead is save Aqua after the first two Disney Worlds. 
So like, oh, or is it first three? So you you visit Twilight Town, you visit Olympus, then Toy Story, and then Tangled. So after you do those, then we do the main Kingdom Hearts plot for a bit. We go save Aqua. We save her. But then after the fact, uh, there's a little bit of a conversation. Aqua needs to rest. Okay? Then you do the next two Disney Worlds. After those two Disney Worlds, then you go get Ven. And then after going to get Ven, you do the next two Worlds, and then it's Keyblade Graveyard. Because what happens in Kingdom Hearts 3 is just... You get a little bit of the Kingdom Hearts plot at the beginning of the game. And then nothing really happens until after you finish all of the Disney worlds. Occasionally the Kingdom Hearts plot shows up. Just to remind you that this is still Kingdom Hearts during each of the worlds. But it barely matters. Because it just amounts to taunting Sora. Be like, hey! You gotta fight us later at the end of the game. Okay. Let me scoop this alive. Okay, Magnet Burst is not working. Oh. Uh, I blocked him at the right time, but I was too far away. And then you know what you don't do? Uh, Sideline Kyrie at the very end. Making her training completely worthless. But I think the DLC was supposed to uh, kind of fix that. I'll read that in a second, Mon's Eye. I'm actually on an okay run of Marluxia. And I'll duck flare, because why not? Remind helps a bit, and then Kyrie does kind of get her own rhythm game. Well, it kind of feels like the rhythm game is a setup to make Kyrie a little bit more important in the next game. Possibly. Like, maybe not main character, but maybe actually have her do something in the next one. Oh, that was on me being stupid. Okay, hold on. Okay, in your alternate version, Sora's powered down because he was almost norted. Makes sense. That still happens. Maybe Kairi, with her newfound training, can be an assistant... Uh, throughout Cage 3, use her newfound knowledge to guide her. We can see Kyrie and Sora together for the whole game. Maybe instead of training, Sora is looking for a way to get Aqua. Right. After rescuing Aqua, Kyrie then uses her power of waking along with Sora's connection to Ventus to wake him. Well, the problem is, they have no clue where Ventus, is, Ventus was. So that's what rescuing Aqua was for to begin with. Again, none of them knew Ventus even existed, except for Mickey. But he even Mickey didn't even know where Ven was. Remind helps a bit, and then Kyrie just kind of gets her own rhythm game. I don't know if Nomura can write a full-fledged female character. Right. That That's just kind of true. Other than Aqua, Aqua's like the exception to the Nomura rule. I mean, Lark is just kind of a sadist, so we don't, we kind of don't count that. 
she doesn't really have too much of a character unless, you know, there's something about that uh, mobile game that I don't know about. I'm gonna get rid of Magnet Burst. Yeah, all they... But, like, that doesn't need to change. All they need to do is get Aqua, exactly. But that's the thing, like... Okay, Riku and Sora, while not properly trained, they spent a couple years actually learning how to fight. Kyrie never had that opportunity. So her getting, like, separate training with Lee honestly makes sense to me. But I just wish she actually did something in 3 throughout the game, too. If she actually could do something, I that would have been better. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow, he still managed to hit me. Aqua can lead them to Ventus. Sora can't do it. Kairi can't. But together with our hearts are connected. Right, so, right. You know, power of friendship. Despite clearly like Rin has a love interest, it doesn't land. I'm I pointed this out, and I, I I hate that this is a thing, but the Sora Riku love interest makes more sense. Look at Sora's reaction when he finds Riku in this game versus Kairi. I'm not a Sora Riku shipper at all, but when you see that cutscene where he reunites with Kairi versus his re uh, reunite with Riku, it's a huge difference in reaction. There's a way stronger emotional connection with the Riku side than the Kairi part. But that's like the only example. Also, one thing about Kyrie I want to point out. Why doesn't she actually use her, like, uh, seven princesses of a heart power? She's one of the seven princesses of heart. Why doesn't that actually come back into play? Like, in any form. Thank you, Goofy. This works. There we go. I can maybe add an extra ground combo. This way Donald gets to live. I get some extra damage in there. We waste the vines. Okay. Never mind, Donald's dead now. Oh. We'll leave it there. I'm so glad he's actually doing this move again. See, back to his, uh... Yeah, I think he's back to this, uh, combo. Oh! That... Okay, whatever. That sucked. But yeah, I don't think Kairi being a Princess of Heart actually doesn't amount to anything in the later games. It's like Nomura forgot about that. Am I wrong, or am I forgetting something? But... I, I seem to remember, like, that not actually doing anything. Wait, did I, ju did I just stop him from doing the plant move? 
Oh, come on. Overall story beats are basically the same. What does honest to me? But that's the thing. Uh, none of the worlds have anything to do with the power of waking. The only one that actually kind of mattered was uh, Olympus, actually. Because the power of waking was just a power Sora need to figure out and tap into. It's something he already kind of had. It's... But it seems like the power of waking is something anyone can learn. It's just not something that can easily be taught. It's one of those things, to me, that's more of like a, uh, an, like, you, uh, you're enlightened, if that makes sense. It's more like a mental evolution of Sora learning the power of awakening. He's become more zen, so he now knows that power. But the only world that actually kind of added to that plot point was Olympus, because his whole reason of going there was they're like, okay, who was once a hero and lost everything and then came back and got his powers back? Hercules. So that's why they went there. But none of the other worlds actually mattered to that. But yeah, you're right. None of the other worlds technically mattered and continued the power of waking bit. But to me, the power of waking is not something that can necessarily be taught. That's why Yen Sid doesn't, doesn't just, like, actually teach him how to do it. It's more like a, a spiritual journey for Sora. That's kind of what it is. But like I pointed out, he never actually learned it when going to fight Aqua. And the reason why he was forbidden to go after Aqua and save Aqua with Riku and the King was because he didn't learn the power of waking. So it, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. In fact, didn't he learn it when fighting Aqua? Kind of like two halves. Maybe we could get the realm of. I'm sorry, I can't really read that. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. broke him out of that at some point. I don't know how I did it. You gonna chase after me? Yes. Ah, oh. oh, dang it. He pulled me in. Uh, Toy Story World's been split into two versions, uh, kind of like two halves. Maybe this can get us into the realm of darkness to find Aqua. Maybe like so many doors to so many places. Maybe one will lead us to Aqua. I mean, I guess. Well, their problem wasn't getting to Aqua. That wasn't the problem. Because he could have just went with Riku and Mickey. Because they know she was in the land of darkness. And Sora and Riku has been there. Again, going there wasn't the issue. It's just Yen Sid's like, no, you need power of waking. Except not really. Oh, I got too close. Death number 1200. But, you know, we have to go to each world because, you know, we got to find spots that are good places to find some ingredients, you know. 
We gotta find those ingredients. Instead of not being able to use the power of waking, the problem was changed so they can't get to Aqua. Just a way to make the worlds fit somewhere. I guess that can work. Uh, because let's be honest here, the only way they end up going to the Realm of Darkness beforehand, <laughs> Riku ended up there going through Kingdom Hearts in the first game. And that's a very specific Kingdom Hearts door, I think. I think. What is Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Uh, Aqua was pulled into darkness by Xehanort. Um, we don't know how Mickey got there. He just kind of ended up there. Right? So yeah, I guess Mi and Sora and Riku ended up there at the end of KH2 after the fight with Xemnas. But I think that was more to... Uh, I maybe the location they ended up at? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, if the Nobody's Realm was like the land of in-between light and dark, then maybe they just ended up in a portal that led them to the dark world. That's probably the reason why they ended up there. In three, they just kind of go. Exactly. But they wouldn't... In all reality, they probably just needed to find someone with the power of darkness to send them there. Or find Kingdom Hearts. Which isn't Kingdom Hearts at Destiny Island. The door to the light. Or... I guess it's also a real question of what actually is Kingdom Hearts. Is it the door to the light in one? Is it this fake artificial one in two that Xemnas creates? Or is it the moon? Which one is it, Nomura? And if they're all Kingdom Hearts, what's the distinction between them? Because out of all the years I've been playing this series, I don't actually fully know what Kingdom Hearts actually is. I know it's light, but I don't know how. Damn it. Uh, Kyrie can just call Sora on his phone. He, yeah, he, he gets a phone in three. What is Kingdom Hearts? Exactly. That's what I'm asking. And like in contact between worlds. Did Kyrie get a phone in three or was it just Sora? Also, who gave him the phone? I forget. Who gave him who gives him the phone in three? Was it Yen Sid? <laughs> and if it was Yen Sid, he probably didn't give one to Kyrie because that would cause distractions when she needs to be training. That's my head cannon at the very least. can't just land. Okay. Chippendale made it? Doesn't Kyrie have one too? Oh my god. And, okay, to be fair, I haven't played three since it came out, so. But she's talking to someone on the phone? You know what? That's That does sound familiar. <laughs> it, was a, it was a gummy phone. And the Disney team messes around with gummies. So, I guess that, that checks out. Yeah, you know what? I think Chip and Dale do make the phone. That does sound familiar. I 
I already know I can block through that. Yeah, someone double check for me. By the way, I think I was comp I was complaining about the time travel in this game. You know, when we actually did the Timeless River stuff and how it didn't make any sense. And I probably just misunderstood what was happening. So, I thought what happened was... My question was, why did Pete get a time travel door when Merlin was the one to make the door? But from what it, from what I saw and what I like read online, it seemed like Pete actually wished upon a star, and that gave him the door. Even though I felt like it wasn't that strong of a like Pete was saying the what I wouldn't give to go back in time. Basically, I just wasn't convinced on that one, but. Basically, the wish upon the star gave him the ability to time travel, so Merlin had to create a door. And if that's actually what happened, okay, that's fine. Because I thought what happened was... Because Merlin said something about there's another door just like this that's connected. Making it sound like when Merlin created the door... The second one that Pete used was also created at the same time. But that doesn't make any sense. But it sounds like, no, the blue fairy gave him the door or whatever. For whatever reason. That could have been bad. Okay. Now you're doing this again. Well, oh, Goofy's dead. Oh, too late. Okay, I haven't been reading this. Uh... The whole idea of having basically rewrite to make. I like this whole idea I'm having basically rewrite to make Cage 3 less soulless. Just want Kyrie to get a bigger role. Saying how I rewrite if I was able to keep the gameplay exact same. Right, right, there's nothing to really change about the gameplay or like what worlds you go to. It's just more of the reason why you go into each place. Uh, so long since it's not impossible, completely out of character. There's no such scene? Okay, you probably just. Gaslit yourself. Is my... I, I I don't think the robot's uh, changing. Hold on. Something's not right. Uh, Not responding. Okay, hold on. I gotta close this. You might be thinking of re uh, Melody of Memory. Sorry, I, I uh, apparently the PNG kind of crashed. Okay, we should be good. Okay, we're fine now. Sorry, she gets a call when they are in the forest. So no Scrooge McDuck, Winnie the Pooh. Oh no, yeah, we don't want that. That would be out of character. Exactly, we don't want that. All right. Well, there we go. Besides, China wouldn't allow that anyway. <laughs> oh, I got trapped on the wall. Okay, that's what happened. Yeah, the problem with Kingdom Hearts 3 is not necessarily the events that happen. It's more of when the events and kind of why you're doing some of the things. No such thing in Melody either? Okay. Guess you just kind of Berenstain bears it, I guess, in your, in your memory. Nomine must have you know, altered your memories then.
Each keeper gets a gummy foam from Chippendale. Sora's adventure begins, right. Uh, to me, it implies that Chippendale, like, just made it, and that's, like, the first one they made, and it takes a while to make. So, they probably didn't have enough time to give everyone else a phone. Wait. I know you, I know you said uh, Kyrie didn't get one, but didn't Riku get one? Okay, wait a minute. I know Sora talks on to... The Uses the phone to talk to someone. Who'd he talk to? Did he talk to Riku? I'm now remembering a scene where Sora's talking on the gummy phone to someone. That's not Chippendale, Donald, Goofy, like any of those. That was me being stupid. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, you want to make a gameplay change, and then you. Uh, Kyrie's gummy phone is pink and white with a pink ray finder grip for the cover. This is what Fandom Wiki says. Fandom Wiki says she has a phone, but we've never seen it being used. Do we even know she actually has one? Sora goes to Olympus and Hercules is like, hey, we're holding here. <laughs> we're doing the Heroes musical. No. I, okay, hold on, Monzai, about the Olympus thing. I think the reason Sora goes to Olympus should probably stay the same, because that actually makes the most sense. Because remember, his reasoning was that he wanted to learn from someone who basically lost his hero abilities, but then got back up. So, I think that should stay the same. That's my opinion. Then they go to Pirate's World. Jack Sparrow was like, let's do a pirate musical, matey. We're going to have a lot of finny fun, I guess. Riku talks to someone in the Dark Realm on the phone. Is this a false memory, too? I, I, I need answers. And they go to Frozen, and that's unchanged. That is true. That is not changed at all. You go to Toy Story, and they're all, we're putting on toy musicals. We're just having a lot of finny fun. I see what you're doing. So it talks to Mickey and Riku while they're in Radiant Garden. And trying to find... We need more musicals. I see. I see. I see what's happening. <laughs> Monza, you just want Donald to have his solos. To be fair, it is the best voice. Improv gameplay. I mean, it's a lot of finny fun. And, you know, that's what Kingdom Hearts 3 was missing the entire time. It was missing finny fun. Oh, come on. Stop with this rose... Uh... Shield. Okay. Turns out the final hit is what you need to block. You go to Twilight Town. Hey, we're putting on a local musical. Like, uh, but it's original songs. Be like, well, at least it's something. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the original songs of the Lang to the Cup. No, they're all bad. Okay, we're gonna just duck for this. Yeah, I need answers about did Riku does Riku have a phone? Because I seem to remember that. Even if it's not in three, it could be in uh it could be in Melody of Memory. Donald's dead. D 
Did Goof oh, Goofy must have blocked him. Oh, I missed it. It's Mickey's phone they talk to Riku and Sora. So Mickey has a gummy phone. Okay. Again, the Disney crew having the gummy phones makes sense to me. In a weird way, it kind of does. But it could also just be a case where Chip and Dale just made those two and they hadn't had the opportunity to make more. And it had to go to Riku and Sora, or Mickey and Sora, whatever. Because, you know, Dark Realm. Just in case something bad happens, they need to contact someone. That didn't work. I could have tried like final form for big damage or something, but no, I think we better just keep with what I got. They never explained how Donald and Goofy were in Daybreak Town of, like, hundreds of years ago. Yeah, I don't know how can like, I don't know how to feel about the mobile game, you know? I know it's supposed to be canon, but, like, it, I bet if you actually analyze the story, there's probably a lot of plot holes involved. And I couldn't, like... Because, yeah, I don't know how you explain that, unless... Unless Donald and Goofy are that old. Actually, they might just be that old. Uh, point something out. Dream Drop. In the past. Remember, there's the Three Musketeers world. Donald and Goofy are there. And it is explained in the Dream Worlds. If there are characters that sur made it past the dream world, like are not affected by the dream world, they are still there as memories of the world. And who knows how long Three Musketeers was because apparently in Three Musketeers world, Donald and Goofy do not know about the existence of other worlds. So yeah, actually that kind of tells me that Three Musketeers World might take place before uh, Daybreak Town, right? Right? <laughs> I hate Kingdom Hearts sometimes. Haven't really been able to attack Marluxia in a little bit. There we go. Sorry, uh, I'm kind of distracted. I can't really read what's going on right now. 
I'm, sh I'm sure you understand why I'm distracted. Goofy, why don't you, like, block? Uh, over here. I think Goofy just needs to only have Tornado equip. That's probably the best move for him to use to block stuff. Because that shield move didn't seem to help. do more Lucia ah, we're setting this up okay I'm duck flaring I have the opportunity I need to get some damage on him oh okay good I got it didn't time it right. I didn't time the girl glide. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Sora also gets a call from Ienzo. That's right. He does have a gummy phone too. Again, I think when it comes to the gummy phones, they might just give in, be handing them out to people who need them, need them the most. Because Ienzo is doing research. Like, because everyone's gummy phone looks the same in the cutscenes, right? Well, I don't know how much you should trust the fandom wikis versus like, you know, the like Kingdom Hearts wiki. But yeah, and it's something to consider. You have to, but the Hearts phone to darkness only a few years ago. So why would they? Why would it play echoes of hundreds of years before? So. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it would have echoed a hun from hundreds of years prior. I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that. But it could just be playing an important memory of that world. Like a like a uh, like a main event that happened during that world. <laughs> Again, the Tron 1 still makes no sense to me. Stick there. That was risky. Create the coming funds for Sora the King and Ienzo. Oh, you found a quote for that. Okay. I mean, that's something. I'll take it. Again, they probably just didn't have enough time to make more, and they need to hand it to the mo more important people for what they what needed to happen. Yeah, is the mobile game one of those cases where you should just cherry pick the lore that works and the lore that doesn't because it contradicts, it might contradict way too many things. I'm not someone that likes to cherry pick lore like that, but 
When Nomura is not consistent at all, it feels like you kind of need to. Is there a different fight we want to do? I feel like I've been firing my Lucia for a while. Um, I wonder how it's going with the Nubus mobile game development. Have they scrapped it yet? The Pokemon Go version? Is that the missing link one that I've been hearing about? Like, wasn't there a Kingdom Hearts missing link game? Is that the mobile version, or is that something else? Because I actually don't know what Missing Link is. I probably heard it when it was first announced that it was in development, but, like, after that, I actually have no clue if I even heard it. I should ground combo. There we go. Okay, maybe I can add a combo plus for when I'm fighting him like this. But then I keep my air ones the same. We add another combo. Uh, I'm using elixir, so I'm full, full health. There we go. Time it left. There we go. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Uh, apparently, it did have a beta, and there were a lot of bugs. The beta was at the start of this year. Okay. okay this is like the first I'm hearing about it. But it was the mobile game. Okay. Another mobile game, anyway. And it just. It does sound like they're trying to continue with it. Even though Square Enix has cancelled, like, all of their mobile games. Like, this year. Like, even... I think some of their popular ones even got cancelled, too. City Opera Omnia. I'm still salty about that. Like, they never gave a reason. Sir. Oh, we're doing this.
There we go. I guess we need a combo finisher. It's smart to use. Okay. Perfect. Dead. One more set. Oh, you could glide away from that attack. Perfect. Is it? Is this it? Get out of here. We made progress has been made today. During the beta fights. Finally. That's one one down. <laughs> you can fight him for lost lost illusions. Lexius is a lot easier to do that, though. Um, who should be next? We've tried many other fights. Um, could try Demix. Tried. You know what? Let's give Vexen a shot. And we'll try Wisdom Form and Spamming Fire and see how that goes. It's probably not going to go well, but we'll try it. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting his shield is immune to fire. But he himself is weak to fire. Honestly, that's an amazing shield. It completely nullifies his weakness. But yeah, Square canceled like almost all of their mobile games, so I'm kind of surprised they're still keeping the Kingdom Hearts one. I did survive an ice attack, so that's good. Dark Road ended? I don't even... Honestly, after Kingdom Hearts 3, I kind of just lost track of all the Kingdom Hearts games that were being worked on. Alright, 
Anti form it is. You gotta head out, Monzai. Have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one too. Good luck on your stream. Dark Road. As of August, it has been delisted delisted from the apps app stores. Uh, again, I am not surprised. Yeah, uh, Opera Om Final Fantasy Opera Omni Omnia delisted this year in like February. I heard that they took down actually before that was Record Keeper. And then I believe uh, they taken down Brave Exodus. It sounds like King Hearts Dark Road has been taken out. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to do a quick check. Now that I'm kind of have this in my head. Uh, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest has a few mobile games. Let me see. Obviously, they still have their, uh, the main Dragon Quest games are still on the mobile, but, uh, Octopath Traveler has a mobile game? What? What is this? Champions of the Continent. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. I didn't even know Octopath Traveler had a mobile game. Uh, oh, we're skipping Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest. Builders has a mobile version? What? Okay. Okay, uh, you know what? Let me be more specific. Dragon Quest, I think it's tacked. No, I'm not seeing it. I think the Dragon Quest once got taken out too. Oh, wait, no, Brave... Brave Ex Exodus is still here. Never mind. I thought I heard it was getting delisted. Huh. Dragon Quest Ta Tact is gone. Interesting. So yeah, it seems like Square is just getting rid of their mobile stuff for whatever reason. That death counter not going up. Did that take? Okay, what to do? Zigbar just for something different. Thunder's not going to matter anyway. You really shouldn't have betrayed. Shows a lot of them still. Well, Dragon Quest is keeping like their main games, like one, one through six and eight, because they didn't add a mobile version of seven. Thank you, Donald. Was that a fake out or did I just not make it in time? No, I didn't make it in time. Okay. And the, yeah, the Pixel Perfect remasters are also that I didn't check but they should be there pixel perfects Dragon Quest 1 through 6 and Dragon Quest 8 because they didn't do 7 and it looks like there's an Octopath game but I don't know if it's just a port of the original or I don't know what it is maybe I should just start with a duck flare Get something going.
I don't know if it's a good idea to spam Duck Flare. I can do that. But I don't know if it's the right idea. We'll, tr we'll try spamming Duck Flare. Come on. I didn't get the full duck flare. I'm not getting the full duck flare. Again, I'm still not getting the full Duck Flare. I mean, I could manually set up Duck Flare. Hmm. Really I could just spam Reflect. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. Why can't- wait, no, seriously, why can't I summon Stitch? Why can't I summon? Why am I not allowed to summon during the Zigbar fight? Donald was alive. I made sure of that. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. Yeah, for some reason, summon's not an option. Because I would have totally summon stitched. Get my just spam reflect. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. So what do you think? Again, I don't know why I can't summon. But I'm going to have to make do without it. Damn it. 
I can block instead, but I think Reflect is just safer. But the problem is, if I need healing, either Donald has to do it, or I have to use an elixir. Ugh. Okay. Goofy. Tornado's probably the only thing you should be using. Source HP, wow. Now we don't need any, you don't need anything else. I just realized Goofy still doesn't have his uh, other shield, his pr premium mushroom or whatever it's called. Just realized that. Yeah, I want Goofy to only use the tornado move. That's the best way to for him to reflect you really bullets. Donald's keeping me healed. I couldn't heal. I couldn't heal. If I needed to heal, I need to do that before I attack. But it seems to me, because sometimes when he teleports, sometimes he waits before attacking, and sometimes he attacks immediately when teleporting. And to me, from what I notice... If we get a combo on him, and then he teleports, he attacks immediately. Every other time, he waits. That's kind of what I'm noticing. Dang it, I couldn't make it in time. I almost did. I overshot it. Donald, can you heal me? Come on, Donald. That was pretty instant. But I managed to block it in time. Does he attack instantly when we warp somewhere, when we change space? Let's 
Let's see. I think it kind of does. And Dawn's not going to heal me. At least not yet. to get that elixir going. Dang it. It was a waste. Donald, can you heal me again? Perfect. Wasting a lot of MP there, but okay. Probably gonna have to elixir. Although if I get hit, then I don't need to, but then I need to heal. Ugh. I feel like I got something going here, kind of. Not real. No, I don't really have anything going here. I don't think any of the dry forms are really gonna help me. Set Dawn to only heal. Because I don't think Dawn's going to do that much damage. What if Donald is only allowed to heal? I still don't think he would heal me sooner. But it might make him actually prioritize it. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. So what do you think? Thank you, Goofy. Yeah. If only Donald could just heal just a little bit better. Donald, you actually made it worse because he jumped in the way of the bullets. Oh, I'm out of MP. I didn't catch that. Well, that's one way to handle it. Yep. 
Donald woke up at the wrong time. So if I, wait, if I already kind of know his pattern, maybe I don't need to reflect. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. Although early on, when he, when he does this. Okay, I think when he does the counter-attack teleport, just teleport and immediately attack, I might need to reflect. Because it's too hard to react to guard. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. So what do you think? But when it's not the counter-attack... I could just do that. Save some MP. Although I'm still kind of relying on Reflect. So, if he tries to use the blue attack, the blue bullet, and then he attacks again, it seems like he just seems to really attack immediately from teleporting. But I don't know if that's consistent. Snipe briefly popped up. It briefly popped up. I could have maybe saved myself there. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. But I would have had to have been mashing the button. Donald, can you hear me? Please. Okay, that was me not timing it right. Good, that, that took. Just getting to him is enough, I guess. Eh, 
and Dom's dead. Oh, what else is there? Thanks, Goofy. Just keep spamming that. That's all Goofy needs to do. Donald? He just kept spamming them. I mean, I could have guarded it, but... I don't know. I'm kind of at the point where... Really shouldn't have betrayed us. I'm not sure. You know what? We might try Demix for a little bit. Kind of feeling like fighting Demix, and I know it's gonna go badly. It's either that or Lurk Sing. Yeah. We'll fight someone else. I already have fire. That's good. Let's try it. Wisdom? Oh, if you go for a normal attack, they turn into like the guitar part. And they could just immediately counterattack you. Okay, okay. Uh, there's something I want to add in. Draw. I'm gonna need all of those, uh, MP orbs. Dance, water, dance. Try it again. Come on. Two elixirs. Okay, Stitch. See if you can help me. Same thing happened again. Because basically how I beat him was to rely on Reflect. And keep having Stitch keep my MP up. But if we summon Stitch right now... I don't think they get close enough. Well, we could try it like this. It's not hurting anything. And we safely uh, get Stitch out here early. Because I've always seen this fight done with Wisdom form, or this part of it. So that way you could just move around. 
But I don't need to waste my elixirs this way. So let's see. Let's see if this works out. I just have to use fire one at a time. I can't really go for the full combo. Two left. Okay, last one. Ooh. Magnet. Getting closer. Fire. It's not perfect. But it works. Stitch. Okay, no, you have to wisdom. Um... Uh... Normally I don't count losses like this, but I, uh, I will count it. Because I, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so summoning Stitch that early is not going to help. The water clones just don't get close enough. Actually, let's go Master. This way, Goofy is not uh, eating up my MP orbs. He's not useful anyway. I have never used fire in master form. Okay. Okay. Okay, so master form just didn't last that long. There's a helicopter. Okay. Yeah, Master Form just did not last, so... I'll try Final, but I think we're gonna have the same problem. At least I can still move around. the hell? The water guitar thing got me. Okay. Let me try it again. With final form. Dance, water, dance. You know what? Did one of the Keyblades do it? I still need to use elixirs. And it did not last. Problem is, once we get to another dance, water dance, after, like, during the fight, because I know he'll do it again. Uh, I would have to de summon Stitch. Just to go into back into wisdom form. Stealer. Okay. Is 
still can't use Stitch. Taking a risk. And that's why you don't do the full combo. Show stealer. Now we can reflect. Uh, okay, I got greedy. We'll give it another go or two. So you use Wisdom because for some reason, it just lasts the longest. Like it doesn't waste the drive gauge for whatever reason. Sitch. Perfect. Don't do the full combo. Show Stealer. Perfect. Get away. Okay. We'll give it another go. Again, the trade off of, of using uh, Stitch is that Donald can't heal me. And that's all I've set him to do. Even though I should probably set him to use fire while he's here. If I actually have him fight. Stop that. Stitch, please. Stitch, why are you not magic me? 
Why do you not do that? Thank you. Oh, good. Time gets wasted. Perfect. Okay. Getting close to him is not the best option. works. That's perfect. Right. If I hit, if I hit him with reflect, that counts as attack. Um, I'm thinking of one more, maybe? One more attempt. Because I might have to do something soon. And I want to make sure I'm not streaming when I have to do that. Another elixir. I have to use two. That's the annoying part. I mean, I have plenty, but still. Stitch. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Use wild dance. Damn it, I got caught. Okay. I think... Yeah, I, I'm going to call it because I don't know what's going on on my end. Because I, I might have to cancel, like, soon. But because it's kind of uncertain, I'm just going to make sure to do that now. Let's get a save going. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Next week, we got more data rematches... And we still got Hades, Hades Cup. On my own time, I'll probably see if there's like some sort of strategy for these data fights that I might be missing. But other than that, that's all we got, I think. Have a good day. Later.